I'm Kevin. I'm Sandra. I'm Grandma. I'm Nathan. And, and welcome, welcome to. And welcome to. And welcome to. Who gave what? Grandma. <laughs> Today we're making samosas because Grandma wanted them. They are basically um, these triangle shaped dough filled with usually like potato or meat mixed with like masala and other spices. Um, usually you eat it in Indian cuisine, but our family really likes them. We have bags of <laughs> frozen samosas, but when you open them, there are not samosas inside, there are shrimp inside. So we need to restock, and instead of um, buying some more, we made ours today. Hope you enjoy. Alright guys, so I'm going to be cutting these potatoes into smallish cubes. We need these to be smallish so that when we parboil them, they'll get a little soft and they're easy to eat as we chomp through the samosas. So really trying to cube them into kind of smaller pieces, kind of the size of like Minecraft blocks. Okay, round two. Grandma just told me that these were way too big, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut them into even small pieces, kind of like two millimeter pieces now. So I'm gonna rework it. So five hours later, here's the uh, finished product of all the, that's only four potatoes, four potatoes worth. Uh, and it's all going into the bowl as we wait for the water to boil and we'll just parboil these potatoes. It should be a flash boil real quick. Um, and once we're done with that, we'll be able to start the beef and the onion mixture too. Kevin is getting newspapers for my grandfather and so i have the task of cutting onions <laughs> okay he's not gone yet <laughs> this could be asmr today we are cutting an onion <laughs> so i have some nice boiling water here and these potatoes that kevin chopped up so i'm just gonna Toss them in here, and as Kevin put it, we are going to flash boil them so that they don't get cooked all the way through because we're still going to stir fry them with the potatoes. Sorry, what? <laughs> with the onions and the beef. So I don't think I ever learned how to cut an onion properly. Like, I'm pretty sure I just cut it the wrong way. I'm, I'm correcting my mistakes. I, I never learned how to cut an onion properly, so I would always just hack it. <laughs> I'll just fuck it some more. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, onions are diced. These look good. Do they? They look beautiful. Are you happy? I'm, they're nicely murdered. No, He's it screaming. looks like it's suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to cousin Nathan. He's been in hiding. He was a bit busy with work over the last couple weeks, but uh, he's now joining cooking with grandma <laughs> oh, so Nathan give us a breakdown of your culinary experience I don't know I, I question his his skills because there's been two times now where he's made crepes for me and they just haven't turned out very well I don't think we need all that meat I think at this stage you want to add a little bit of salt shake 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 the turmeric shake the turmeric all right the potatoes. The beef and onions are ready. Now we're going to add the potatoes, the hard boiled potatoes, the uh, flash boiled potatoes, flash boiled, the translucent potatoes. So here grandma is. Uh, she just spooned some of the mixture. Uh, she said it's probably better to do to wait for the mixture to cool down, but as you can see, she's folding it into a triangle. Cool. And after that, oh, she's adding a little more. These are how thin my crepes need to be. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. And that's how the master does it. I think I always overstuff. Pretty, I completely missed that. Okay, what should I just do? Fold it, yeah, fold oh, it this okay. way. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, yours is not overstuffed. Yeah. Alright. And then. There's one. And then just fold it again into a triangle, like that way. Hop a hop. Uh huh? Uh 
Ah. And then fold it down one more. One more? Yeah. Oh, yeah, fold it like if you want to close this hole here. Yeah. Right? So fold that. Yeah. Oh, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, my God. Sandra, what on earth did you <laughs> What did you do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you can even fry this one. Really slow. Should have heated up the oil. Real? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Now this is what they're supposed to look like. Then we've wrapped these beautiful triangle shaped samosas. We're gonna drop them in and deep fry them. We've heated up the oil already, so it should fry up pretty nicely. Let's drop them in. I'm gonna leave a little space so that they have a little room to breathe. We'll do about four at a time. Gonna wait till they get nice golden and crispy so that we can eat them and can fill my belly. Triangle golden goodness. We're gonna do a little taste test. Or he is. And it's crispy. Mm. Mm. Is it oily? Mm -hmm. No? It's hot. It is hot. And here we, here we have our finished product, the samosas with a chili and tamarind dipping sauce. Yay! Alright, grandma's gonna judge the cook. That crunch. That crunch. <laughs> Tune in next week for another episode of Cooking, Cooking with, with Grandma. Grandma. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>